the shading die is going to adjust to the col that you're looking for you know your overall case length you're going to turn the die into your tool head okay so now let's back it out a little your adjusting is done from here and i'm going to show that to you so let's get a look at this okay we're good there now we're going to shoot a bullet by the way with a bullet dropper that'll see just fine now we're going to bring this down we're actually going to seat a little bit and then we're going to stop now you want to check your col this one's at 1.124 which i'm going to i'm just going to stick with it for now that's that's good enough but if you wanted less you simply turn the shaft down to get started with the die, if you have a round that you've already made, you can actually bring the tool head down, screw the die down. When the contacts is, is tight against the bullet, just lock everything down and you're exactly where you want to be. It's just a tip. But adjustments are made here. The bullet barrel will move up and down with the shaft. If you'll notice, without seating die, this is a metal barrel and it has a tapered ID and then the inside is shaped and radius to, to fit or seat any shape 45 bullet or 44 for that matter. And what it does is it captures the bullet, holds it vertically. So when you bring that head down, the bullet comes down nice and straight seats into the case exactly as it should you know there's no leaning one way or another that can cause a bulge in your case or around the bullet after you crimp so that's a huge benefit the other benefit is with the seating die barrel that we designed that angle that you see it pushes the 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 um the flare back about 80 percent maybe 90 which dials in your tension pre crimp so your cols are going to be extremely close i haven't seen anything in the market yet that's any that's any better than this not not even close actually